This is Christian with Outdoor Game Cameras, and today I'm doing an unboxing and a quick setup with this new 2022 Browning Dark Ops Full HD. This is the 1080p. This camera just came out, so let's go ahead and talk more about this camera. We have a 90 invisible infrared night illumination. We have 22 megapixels pictures. We have a new Radiant 4 high powered LEDs. We have adjustable trigger speed. 0.135 to 0 0.7 seconds uh, and we have 1080p full HD video up to two minutes. Captures up to 15,000 images on six AA batteries. We have adjustable all still tree mounting bracket, eight rapid fire shots in two seconds. Then we have time lapse mode plus IR trigger images. This camera is perfect for security or civilians. Uh, we got adjustable IR flash settings, long range, power saver modes. We got no noise image capture, shot still images, shots at 1080p, full HD videos with sound. We have five seconds to two minutes. Picture info bar display, time date, moon phase, barometric pressure, temperature and camera ID. We have selectable start stop image timer, SD card management, SMI IR video. We have battery meteor functions with alkyne, lithium and rechargeable batteries. Movable battery clips for easy battery installation. Adjustable IR flash for perfect nighttime pictures and videos. We have 0.5 second picture recovery time. We have Buck Watch, Time Lapse Viewer Plus PC software. Four picture resolutions, selectable delay time between images, uh, one second, five seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, or 30 seconds, and one minute, five minute, 10 minute, 30 minute, or 60 minute. Six foot camera strap with all metal heavy duty buckle, aim test mode, one year warranty. What comes in the box is your camera, you have your instructions, and then your six foot strap. On the side, there's a latch, you pull up, this whole thing opens up. Right here displays what model this camera is. Has Browning's customer service, their phone number, and their website. On the bottom right here, the tripod mount. This is the tray, this is where your batteries go. Push the eject button, this whole thing opens up. And put your batteries in, put it back in. And make sure you hear it lock. There you go. This is where your SD card goes. This is where your 12 volt external power port is. Right here, this is uh, your mode button, uh, eject button, on and off switch, programming buttons, E for enter. This right here is your LCD screen right here. Uh, you have your microphone up here, PIR sensor right here. Uh, you have your light aim LED sensor. You have your camera lens right here. And then this right here is your IR LEDs and if you latch it over like that and then pull down then once you hear a snap then you're good. This is where your uh, six foot strap goes through, uh, security cable goes right through here and that's not included. On the top, side, bottom, other side. So far this camera looks great so let's go ahead and get this camera set up. The next step is to put your batteries inside your camera and then your SD card. So go ahead and put them in. Now make sure you hear it lock. There you go. And then your SD card goes right here. There you go. Let me show you how you set your camera up. So uh, this camera is real simple, really easy to set up. So don't feel overwhelmed or anything. I'm going to walk you through all the steps and how this camera works and how all the settings. So go ahead and turn on your camera and then it's gonna boot up and then you'll push the mode button here. This is the uh, set date and time. So if you push the enter button, that'll start flashing. That means that you can adjust the time and date, okay? So you go up and down uh, to adjust that. And when you wanna go over, you just push over. 
So right now it is uh, May 5th, 2022. And right now it's 8.37. Um, and you can change that to AM or PM if you like. And then when you're done there, push enter and then just keep going down. Operation mode, you got trail, this is pictures. Push uh, enter there, that'll start flashing and it means you can change it. Time ups plus or video. I'll walk you through all these steps and how that works. So we're gonna talk about Trill, and this is pictures. Photo quality, so go ahead and push the enter button there. Uh, this will start flashing, that means you can change it. So you got ultra is 22 MP. You got high is eight MP. And then medium is a four MP, and then low is two. I'm gonna leave it on uh, 22 MP, push enter keep going down video quality this applies to videos we'll talk more about that here in a little bit and then video length we'll talk more about that in a little bit picture delay this applies to videos and pictures so go ahead and push enter um, now what this means is so your camera will be ready at whatever time you put this in so like if it's every second your camera is ready to take a picture every one second um, now if you leave it like on every 60 minutes, every hour it'll take up to ready to take a picture. So you want to make sure this setting is um, at one second or you know, um, you can make it later if you like, but I want to make sure my camera is ready to take pictures. Because I feel like animals come in real fast and so that's why I do that. Uh, multi shots, um, so that means it'll take like three shot. Um, or it'll take uh, different shots here, eight shot right there, rapid fire. That means it'll take eight rapid fire shots all like really quick. I usually leave that on rapid fire, but you can adjust it to seven, six, uh, five, four, uh, three, two. And then this is standard shot. This is a little bit slower, it's not as fast. Uh, you can from eight uh, standard shot, you got seven standard shot, uh, six, five, four, three, two, and then you have you can go to off too if you like. I'll leave it on eight rapid fire shots because then it'll animals like run by. It'll take eight rapid fire shots, so it's eight pictures really fast. Temperature unit all depends where you live. Um, I live in the United States, so I'll leave it on Fahrenheit, but you can change it to Celsius if you like, depending on where you live. And then right here, this is camera name. This is really important. You wanna make sure that you spend time on this. Um, I have myself, I have a lot of cameras, and so I wanna make sure I know what camera is taking pictures or videos in the spot that I have it at. So I call this dark uh, 1080. That's what I call it. So if you want to change this, you can push the enter button. Now, once again, once it starts flashing like that, it means you can change it up and down, uh, right and left. So there's a, a space in between the Z and zero. That's how you get a space in between. And so I just take a lot of time on this and make sure it, it's what you want it to. So after you're done there, go ahead and push the enter button. And image data strip, I leave it on. That's the little strip on the bottom, pictures and videos. It has temperature and time and date. That's important to put that on. Uh, motion test. Let's make sure this camera is working. So go ahead and push on there, make sure it flashes. And then take your finger and just take it over right here. That little red light comes on. That means it's detecting uh, motion. Go ahead and push uh, mode. This is motion detection. You can change this if you like. Um, 60 feet, 80 feet. I'll leave it on 80 feet and then go down to battery type. I have alkyne, you can change this to lithium batteries too if you like, or rechargeable batteries. So I'm gonna leave it on alkyne. Trigger speed, you can change this if you like. Uh, fast or normal, leave it on fast. Default settings, I'd leave it on no. And what that means is, so if you go to yes, this uh, camera will go back to the manufacturer settings. So I'm gonna leave that on no, cause I wanna save these uh, settings that I'm doing right now. And then time-lapse frequency, uh, time-lapse period. I'll go over that here in a little bit, how time-lapse works. Uh, so my R video, I'll go over that here in just a little bit too. SD management, 
This applies to videos and pictures. So say if your SD card fills up and you leave it off, it won't take any more pictures once it fills up. But if you leave it on, I'll um, delete and rewrite over those pictures and just delete and rewrite. Delete all, you can delete all the pictures or videos that are on the SD card. Uh, this is IR flash power. You can change this if you like. This applies to um, pictures, fast motion, you got long range, or economy. I'm gonna leave it on probably long range. Capture timer, uh, you can leave this on or off. And what that means is so you can have this camera come on at a certain time and then stop at a certain time. So that's pretty cool. And then you can go up and down as you need to, then over. And then um, once you're done there, you just push enter. I'm actually gonna leave that on off. Software upgrade, I always double check. I know this is a new camera. So I'll go ahead and push that enter. And looks like we're good there. It would change, it'll say yes. It looks like we're good. So after that, all you gotta do is push the mob at once. This is trail countdown. This is how many pictures it's got on the SD card. This is how many you can take. This is your battery life. Let's go ahead and get this camera set up so you can take videos. Let me show you how you set your camera up. So take videos. So go ahead and turn your camera, push the mode button, and then go down to operation mode. You want to change this to video. And then go down to video quality. You can change it to ultra or high. I'll leave it on ultra. And then video length, you can change the length of the videos. So you can go down to five seconds, uh, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, or one minute or two minutes. I'm gonna leave it on every one minute. Picture delay, this applies to videos too. Now, if I leave it on five seconds, my camera's ready every five seconds. So if it takes a video, it'll be ready in five seconds to take the next video. So you can adjust that if you like to. I leave it on every five seconds because I know I'll just keep taking videos really quick. Then go down to Smite IR video. You want to make sure that's on. And then SD management applies to videos too. I'm going to leave that on off. Uh, you can delete all the videos too. And then capture timer, you can, this applies to videos too, if you like. You can have the camera come on at certain times. And then after that, all you need to do is push the mode button. It's on video mode, countdown. This is how many videos it's got on the SD card. This is how many you can take. There's my battery life. Look out for my next review on how to set your camera up. So it'll be in time lapse plus. Let me show you how you set your camera up so it'll be in time lapse plus. So go ahead and turn on your camera, push the mode button, go down to operation mode, change this to uh, time lapse plus. There you go. Now, this is a great setting for a wide area or open field. So, this is what I use this for time lapse frequency, time lapse period is what I'm looking for. So, you got time lapse frequency. You can change this if you like. Now this is how often your um, camera takes a picture. So it's then take it every one minute, uh, two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, uh, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, or you got five seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, or one minute. I'll leave it on one minute. So every one minute, then take a picture. Time lapse period. Now this is when uh, your camera comes on. You can change this from all day if you like. Your camera will be on all day. Uh, one hour, two hour, three hour, or four hour before sunrise or sunset. Now there's a little note on the instructions that says the camera learns the length of the day. Constantly adjust the one, two, three, four hour duration mode automatically. So I'm gonna leave it on four hours before sunrise or sunset. 
And after that, all you gotta do is push the mode button, time lapse plus, countdown, and then there's your uh, time lapse plus. Do keep in mind, I do this for fun. I'm not paid or anything like that. So I enjoy cameras and enjoy the mountains and I enjoy helping people out. I'll look out for my next review on how this camera performs in the mountains. Uh, go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel and follow me on my social media. Thanks for watching. Hey, it's a party over here. Bring your people to the other side. Take them back roads. You might want to bring your other ride. Big chrome wheels, custom paint. That ain't cutting it. Nobbies with the mud flaps. We be on some other shit.